A very hot coffee this morning. Good morning, everybody. It is your boy Thomas, and I'm a little bit tired, but we're gonna talk about Supreme today because that is what we do on this channel. We are talking about the original behind the design and complete history of Supreme's own original sneakers developed by Supreme in-house. You won't wanna miss it. Let's get right into the video now. Remember guys to like the video, subscribe to the page, and hit that notification bell if you want to stay up to date with all future upcoming current Supreme drop list news, collaboration, and the occasional sneaker review and other streetwear brands. I appreciate all the support. Let's keep going. All right, we are here on Supreme Drops Twitter, and we are looking at behind the design of the Supreme sneaker. Now, I want you guys to comment down below if you knew Supreme had a sneaker or not. If we were doing a live stream, I would do a poll, yes or no. For me, I knew Supreme had made a sneaker, but I cannot tell you the last time I ever thought about it. So, I'm gonna read this thread more or less word for word. Again, this is our good friend, Supreme Drops. Be sure to follow him on Twitter. He creates some of the the best content out there for Supreme Drop list pricing information. Shout out to Supreme Drops. So Supreme Drops says, if you weren't already aware, let him take us through a thread shared with him by one of the designers from the time back in 2001. Let's take a little look-see. Back in 2001, Supreme produced and released their own shoes. This is the more information that's coming from one of the designers. And before we get into that, we can obviously tell major inspiration from the Nike Air Force Force One, the Bapesta. Everybody was really doing this, you know, kind of back in the day. It still happens to this day, except Nike is a little more litigious, and I don't think Supreme would ever release this shoe today. I think this is definitely a product of the time. Back in 2001, you have to think about it. You know, you had skate culture. I'd say more on the forefront of underground youth culture than it is today. Skateboarding nowadays is much more so a niche. It is mainstream, but back in 2001, that was not exactly the case. It was still rebellious. It was still part of Supreme's identity. So it's no question they wanted to have a sneaker to give not only their sponsored riders, but their customers. And in the early years with the brand, Supreme only engaged in a few collaborations with shoe companies such as Vans, Padmore and Barnes, and DC Shoes. Okay, so I bet you guys didn't know about these because to be honest, I didn't. The Supreme Vans from 1996, the second year of Supreme's operation. I think those are got to be incredibly hard to find. Those look really sick. I like the two simple camo ones right there. And then I guess this one's more simple. The Supreme DC, <clears throat> the Supreme DC shoes right here from 1999. Not really a fan of these, but I do appreciate the gum outsole and what they meant obviously for Supreme at the time. Padmore and Barnes are more interesting because these are like a chuck a boot in 2000 and definitely leaning more so on the fashion side of the brand, which is super cool because Supreme, if you think about it, they really are the only skate brand to get this number of relevance besides maybe like Vans for sneakers. But in terms of an actual clothing and brand that makes skateboards, can you guys think of any other brand that's even close to the relevance? Don't say Palace because that's not true. Nobody in your average everyday life knows of Palace most of the time, but I'd say most people have at least heard of Supreme or understand, oh yeah, that company that puts their name on fucking bricks and sells them? What the heck is that about? As the new century began, Supreme decided to create their own interpretation of the Nike Air Force One. To achieve this, they designed and produced two models in various colorways. In 2001, they launched the Supreme Midtown shoes in black, gray, navy, and brown alongside the Supreme Down Low shoes, also available in the same colors. They wanted to make their own version of the Nike Air Force One. It would kind of go on to be a classic sneaker that Supreme would collaborate on. And of course, their relationship with Nike and Nike SB was only going to deepen as the years went on. But as this time, you know, think about it. It's they started in 94. It's 2001. They've been doing this thing a couple of years, about seven years or whatever. And they wanted their own sneakers. Sure. I get it, man. 
you want your own sneakers that you can sell, that you can provide to your riders, this, that, and the other thing. You wanted to stand out and you wanted to make a little money. They released the Midtown and the Down Low. Regrettably, the response was less than stellar. According to Jeff Heath, a former Supreme designer from the 98 to 04 period and the creative mind behind many beloved and iconic Supreme designs, the shoes didn't quite hit the mark. He informed me that they, once they were worn, the shoes proved to be very uncomfortable. The soles were stiff and heavy, causing discomfort. Consequently, they decided to shelve these shoes and the idea of having their own unique silhouette was abandoned. So trial and error happened, right? They made a sneaker, but Supreme had never made a sneaker before, so they had issues. The shoes were uncomfortable after being worn for a bit. The soles ended up being stiff and heavy. Brands like Nike and Adidas, I feel like get underappreciated for how much literal research and development they put into midsole design and comfort with Nike Air adidas boost and all that stuff fly knit vapor max all the shit all the patented technologies they do it's for a reason and it's because those sneakers are worn by millions of people right supreme tried to do it they made a cool sneaker it's not all about the design on the outside right there's so much more internals and elements to creating a sneaker brand it's why i think that when people try to make their own it's like good luck to you and i wish you luck but it's unlikely you're gonna make a sneaker as comfortable as nike or adidas i think the only recent company Company that has come out and made a more comfortable sneaker has been Allbirds. However, the story doesn't end there. What? In a recent report, it was announced that Supreme plans to introduce product categories or new product categories in the foreseeable future, including their own line of shoes. Now, this is very interesting. Obviously, Supreme now being owned by VF Corp has more money for research and development. I think more of a brand image. We've seen the Supreme Air Force Ones do incredible incredibly well recently. It's really no question that Supreme is like, well, we're getting all this money from the Air Force Ones. Why don't we take more of that? Now, I don't see these being an Air Force One ripoff. For one, they've already been selling the Supreme Nike Air Force Ones. They don't want to compete with themselves. They wouldn't do it with Nike because they're such a big collaborator. And again, with VF Corp, they probably have a ton of sneaker and shoe designers already in that world. And I think they could create something interesting. It really does depends on the execution of the first model if they do collaborations with it and i'm super interested to see where this goes moving forward pretty interesting stuff what do you guys think of supreme's sneakers of the past and potential sneakers of the future i think it's pretty damn cool if i do say so myself i'm not gonna lie i think it's pretty neat i think it's always cool to see new stuff from a brand it's neat to see where they have come from and again thanks to supreme drops for the awesome thread. He has some other great ones on 9-11 talking with the designer Jeff Heath yeah. and I would love to maybe get that guy on the channel and talk to this guy if I could ever get the chance because again I love talking Supreme especially about people that love talking about it too. Hope you guys appreciated the video on the Supreme sneakers. It's been your boy Thomas and I'm out. Peace and butt grease. See ya.